Good evening and welcome to the 201st edition the of Wales. A farmer invent. and son have invented a device that they've called a double now, Dutchman. Let's greet our panel. Ross Quinlivan. <laughs> Good evening, panel. <laughs> Next to him, the mother of inventions, Diana Fisher. Good evening. <laughs> And lastly, Professor Neville Quarry. Good evening. Now, our first invention tonight. Now, this machine can't cut down trees, but it can Mine pick up the slide from the tractor to the picker via a coupling drive shaft. The cutting edge now in the ground, and the rotor's turning, the debris is thrown up onto the steel conveyor belt. Please welcome Dennis and Margaret Gore. Well, I was going along helping you are, Dennis. You are engineering trained, I guess? Not trying, but, but you, you, you have not uh, pulled the stump here. Absolutely magnificent. I wish I'd had it when I was helping clear somebody's dam. I was doing what you did, Margaret, pick up the twigs and burn them off. Margaret, uh, how much can uh, Dennis do in a day? I mean, how much... This jogger is wearing a heart rate monitor. She carries a digital readout pulser on which her heart rate is... You're wearing the belt at the moment, and so we can tell that your heartbeat is 130, 131, 133. What, what should it be? Normally about 75. That's you. <laughs> You're a little on edge, are you? Yeah. Could you expose yourself a little? <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> I see. There it is. Yeah. Are, you a, are you a medical man? Serviceman from medical electronics. I see. Mm. So you're an instrument maker, in effect. Type. Serviceman. So yeah. You, um, right. You know, as an attachment to a digital... The problem of pouring concrete water tanks at heights above two metres prompted inventor Noel Isaacson to produce this hydraulic concrete mixer yeah, in a transfer... What inspired this invention? Well, probably laziness. I mm -hmm. hate two operations where you can do... What are you doing that, that inspired this? Or that brought up your laziness? <laughs> well, no, there, there are other things... Father and that son inventors <laughs> Bob and Ian Bruinsma have greatly increased the power of a conventional bike power with a dual drive is delivered by arms as well as legs, putting it way out yeah, in front of the bike has little trouble handling hills even when the wind is against you. The dual power bicycle provides excellent exercise as the top part of the body is exercised as well as the legs. The pedaling action by the arms gives power to the front wheel through a front mounted sprocket and chain. This sprocket chain drives the front wheel in a similar fashion to the normal foot pedal with the crank handle forming the handlebars. With dual drive you can pedal with your feet and hands, your feet alone or your hands alone. There's a hub brake on the front operated by the pedal handlebars. There are also rear wheel brakes operated by a handbrake. For work or just play, the dual drive bicycle makes a lot of sense. In New South Wales, Bob and Ian Broomsmark. Uh, Bob, which of you, you or Ian, inspired the idea and which of you built it? Well, it was my thought, uh, but I I wouldn't have been able to finish it as soon as what we did if my son hadn't Good helped me. No. You were a cyclist already, I gather, and you found... Yes, yes, I found myself pushing uphill. Mm. I, um, and all of a sudden the idea came to me, if only we could use our hands as well. Very good idea. Hands the bike. <laughs> I still think it's a little crazy. Uh, how about coordination? Well, I found it quite easy, yeah. Um, well, if, uh, when we started I thought it was going to be really hard and we just, just for the fun of it, but... And you made it, it turned out really easy, and so you went on with it. Do people laugh at you, Bob, when you ride the bicycle? Yes, they laugh at But uh, we find ourselves, it becomes like a front-wheel drive car. And what would it cost? The, the, the pads cost us $52. Well, I might, I'm like you, I'm still laughing at the thought of doing it. Um, Ian, is it possible, isn't it, yeah, bicycle? And if I've got the baby or the shopping, can I yeah, put it on the back? put it in the back here. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm practical, you see. I've got to have all of that. But you do get more power out of it. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, the mechanical advantage uh, of being able to use your arms as well and, and the exercise. And I had a, actually a sneak um, use of this beforehand down the corridors of power of the ABC. I left a number of scars on the walls. <laughs> um, mainly because in getting onto it, is that my fault or is it the bike's fault? Oh, it is really good. I, yes, <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> when you get onto it, yeah. Right. I think it's absolutely fascinating, and don't forget they laughed at whoever it was said the world was round, yeah. and at Thomas Edison. So don't win the travel strength one thousand dollar cash prize. Let's have another look at tonight's inventions. First of all, from Queensland, we saw the Gore family picking up sticks and stones with this device. Then we jogged with Rod Savage's heart rate monitor. That's from New South Wales. 
We followed that with uh, Noel Isaacson's concrete mixer from South Australia, and finally from New South Wales again, we met the flying double Dutchman invented by Bob and Ian Bruinsmark. I'll agree with everybody. Uh, <laughs> for once in my life, I'll say sticks and stones. Well, there it is. It's a clean sweep for Dennis and Margaret Gore of Queensland and their stick and stone picker. Dennis and Margaret, would you come? Please? 